Hi, I'm the creator of this asset and I'll show you now how to quickly get started. So, after you've installed the Unix package, you'll come create a new game object. Empty, name it Steam Manager, add a component of Steam Manager from the Steamworks.net, the Steam Achievements from our own assets and steam leaderboard so to use this steam manager we first need to come back to the root folder of your project create a new uh, text file called steam app ID, open it and put the steam app ID that has been assigned to your game we can't show the valves pages because of the nda so you will need to figure it how to get your Steam app ID. So save it, go back, check this box, Steam enable, and open the script Steam Manager. Normally, this, this line, the line 90, 95, will be filled with 480, but you need to change it for your own Steam app ID. After this, if you play the game, your sim will be count as playing your own game, okay? So, to use the Steam achievements, first you need to put the total quantity of achievements, minus one here. In my case, since I have two achievements, I'll put just one. And now you can go to your script of your choice to use the achievements clearing or unlocking but first you need to use using Ratus steam libraries this will enable our namespace and we will be able to use our scripts from the assets so here i will put the option that if i press the key l okay go okay, down okay go on to l I will clear the achievement. So Steam Achievements dot clear Steam Achievement and I will put the ID. The ID will be achievement 00. Remember that all the achievements must follow this naming uh, 00, 01, 02. Otherwise it won't work. The stats in the documentation it's it's shown how it is used. So but the pattern is almost the same. And if we put one get K down, K code on C. If I press C, Steam Achievements bom, dot unlock Steam Achievement, and you will unlock it will unlock the achievement zero zero. So now we save it. We will test it. So in my sim web page, I have already this achievement creator's blessing, and this is the achievement zero zero. I will just unlock. I will clear it and then unlock it to show it to how it how it works. So first, we will press L. And we'll check the achievement if it was clear. So here the achievement is locked again. So we will press C now, and the achievement was unlocked. So, for the leaderboard, first you need to fill these spaces. Uh, the leaderboard name will be the same name that you have put in the creation on the Steam API website. So, in my case, it's DB Test Board. The leaderboard cell will be a game object 
that we have to create with first a red transform in the parent and in the children we have a player image we need an image type a text type by the name of name and a text type of the score you need to put it in this order otherwise it won't work okay so we have created already our cell and we need to create also a leaderboard target that we have that will be the parent of these cells so we add a component of leaderboard target okay after this we will now come back to our manager and fill this cell we only want five entries of our leaderboard so I'll put here five in the ending range the distance between each cell you will have to test it for yourself in my case it will be 80 the upload, upload score method will be the keep best because we will only want the best scores and the request global will be our request type because we only want the best scores of the global not around user not around friends okay so now that we've filled it we will deactivate the leaderboard come back to my script that manages the whenever the leaderboard will appear in my case i have a flag whenever the player dies and i will call steam steam leaderboard dot instantiate leaderboard this you need to also put the using Brado Simon libraries if you haven't already done so. And when you come back to your game, just save the script, come back to the game. And when my player dies, it will just appear and create a leaderboard and show the players that have the highest score, the five players that have the highest score. So, how you can see here that they have found the leaderboard and it's ID, so now I will die just to test it. So, the leaderboard was instantiated with the player images, the player name, and the player scores. So, thanks for watching. This is the getting started for the Bratus Steam libraries and achievements. Thanks for watching.